او يمجس يعني فويلكم ان نروح من استديو الشيخ عبد الحميد انا والله انا congratulated you about your Islam and I can't express my emotions and feelings towards your Islam and uh, firstly I leave uh, first questions for Dr. Hussain to ask you uh, at the first um, uh, as you know uh, Islam is characterized by its simplicity as you know uh, how can you deal with this fact or how can you explain this fact uh, to our viewers according to your uh, experience with Islam Well, <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, uh, uh, Bismillah, 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 Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah, wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa katu. For me, uh, that's the beauty of Islam, is that the simplicity makes it easy for you. You know, Islam is, 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 uh, is easy, but we make it hard, you know, as human beings. But uh, to me, that's the beauty, is that uh, Allah likes ease for you. Mm. So... For us, it's our fitrah. Islam's our fitrah. It, it's, it, it's something that uh, goes with our nature. Mm. You know, to whereas, you know, I like simplicity. I like mm. to live, you know, in, in a simple way. It's, it's, it's good for me. It's easy for me. This is what Allah wants. You know, but when you make it hard for yourself, it's not something that you're going to be comfortable with. You know, so really, um, I think uh, anyone, if they live Islam and they feel the simplicity of it, that they will love it, mm -hmm. you know. Other than that, you know, it's going to be hard for you, you know. So I love Islam because it's easy, because it's simple, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prophet you know, uh, you know, he lived Islam and, um, you know, uh, he did what was easy, mm -hmm. you know. He didn't, he didn't make it hard for himself, you know. But, he, he, you know, Islam is, is uh, very, very simple, mashallah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's a way of life. It's a total way of life, so it goes according to your nature, covers every aspect of your life. Mm. So, uh, alhamdulillah, I mean, it's, it's, it's very easy, mashallah, and it's something that if you apply yourself, then it's not a problem, mashallah. Like no, I would like to ask you, who called you Abdul Hamid? Uh, actually, I, I picked that name because I, you know, was like looking at the names of Allah, and one of the names of Allah that attracted me was Al Hamid. Mm. So I wanted to be the servant of uh, Uh, I want to be Abdul Hamid, mm. servant of Al Hamid. So the servant of the All Praiseworthy. Mm. You know, Allah is All Praiseworthy. I want to serve Allah, who is the All Praiseworthy. And I would But like to ask you about which problems uh, faced you when you embrace Islam. Uh, Alhamdulillah, um, really, I mean, uh, you know, our family uh, didn't give us any problems. But I guess when you get into the workplace, maybe you may have problems with. Uh, where to pray or if they let you make Juma or something like that. Um, other than that, um, you know, maybe jobs, you can say maybe job related. Um, even uh, maybe with school, they may not let you leave. You know, you, you're going to school with the Kufar and uh, they may not let you leave for uh, Juma yes. on Friday. Uh, so maybe no place. some problems when you are going to pray Juma? Yeah, you, you know, you have to get a, we had to get a note uh, from home to say, okay, you can wear You know, you're Kufi and, yes. you know, you have to go to Juma, you have to pray and so on. You know, uh, because we didn't go to Islamic school at the time, you know. In the schools, no pray in Goma? No. Uh, I would like to ask you more question. When you accepted Islam, you declared the Shahada. Yes. There is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger from Allah. Yes. What these sentences mean to you? What is the complete meaning of Islam in your opinion? Uh, okay. Uh, trying to explain in brief uh, what that means. Um, well, uh, to me it means that there's uh, no God worthy of worship except Allah alone. There's no God worthy of worship except Allah alone. For we know that uh, there's many gods that people worship, you mm -hmm. know, but there's only one God worthy of worship, and that's Allah. And that uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his, uh, his servant and messenger. Mm. You know that's how we live Islam through his example, because mm. his life was that of the Quran. Mm. You know he lived the Quran. So when you look at the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you see the Quran mm. in action. Mm. So this is how we can implement, you know, uh, Islam by following the example of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So we can't separate it. We have to know that it's uh, 
no God worthy really worship except Allah alone. And then we have to know how to do that mm. by looking at the Prophet and exempl exemplifying his, his example, his character, mm. you know, to the best of our ability. Ustad Abdul Hamid, what's your impression or feelings uh, after accepting Islam? Uh, Alhamdulillah, it's a very beautiful feeling. Uh, it's a very uh, uh, refreshing feeling. It's a very, uh, uh, it's hard to explain. Mm. It's very hard to explain, but uh, it's like, uh, it makes you free. Mm. It makes you free and it makes you to, uh, it gives you protection too from the uh, jahiliya. Mm. Protects mm. you from the uh, ignorance of the society. At the same time, you, f you know, you feel like a free person. You feel, again, we said uh, how Islam is easy. Mm. Mm. You know, so it's like, you know, everything in Islam is, a, uh, is a, a ibadah. That's mm. what I'm saying. Everything mm. you do is ibadah, so that's why it makes you feel good. You know, because uh, when you leave your house, mm. there's something you say. When you go in your house, there's something you say. When you go in the bathroom, there's something you say. When you get in your car, there's something you say. You know, everything mm. is remembrance of Allah, thikr, you know. Mm. So it's like, that's why it says refreshing, and it makes you feel free, and it's very easy. Mm. It's a very, very, very beautiful feeling, mashallah, because it's a total way of life. You know, so uh, I think if someone learns about Islam and they become Muslim, there's no way, and Allah knows best, there's no way they can leave Islam. You know, uh, mm. you know we've been Muslim. Uh, Islam is the only religion I've ever practiced. I've never had any other religion. We had Christians in our family, mm. you know, uh, and they may have sent us to church or whatever, but Islam is the only religion we've uh, accepted and the only religion we've practiced. So mm. that's Islam, that's it, you know. Islam's been our only religion. And uh, inshallah, it will be the only religion until we die, be it in the Lahi Ta'ala, you know. Uh, the, the speaker of the first phone calls asks you about the steps that you are going to, uh, when you are going to call for da'wah. What are the first steps you are going to uh, uh, to uh, catch or to fetch with you when you are going to uh, serve down in America? Um, what, what we usually, uh, what I usually tell people when, when uh, like for example, when they become Muslim, I say don't look at the people. It's, Islam is perfect and the people aren't. So basically, um, in, uh, I think that your character is most important. Because how the Prophet ﷺ came to perfect character, you know, so uh, he's, he is the best example, best example for us, who, for those who remember Allah and strive towards the hereafter. So, you know, we should try to uh, correct ourselves first, you know, try to correct ourselves first, have a good character, you know, smile, you know, give kind words. This is the first da'wah to bring to people, you know, not to be harsh with them and to be rude and so on and so forth. So, you know, we should try to give a very good character. This is the way uh, the Prophet of Islam's companions, when they used to go and do the trading, you know, and they would do their selling or whatever, by their character, this is the first introduction in a way that people want to come to Islam, by seeing how we're honest with them, how we try to, you know, be nice with the people and give them their fear, you know, what they pay for, we give them what they pay, we don't give, we give them the best of what we have. You know, so your character is number one. Then after that, you begin to give them, tell them about a tawheed, you know, you tell them about, you know, the oneness of the worship of Allah. And then you go on from there, you know, with the, uh, the pillars and so on and so forth, you know, get the basics. You know, but first it starts with you, you know, uh, because people look at you. You represent Islam, you know, so if you're not representing the way of Allah's, uh, you're not re representing the deen of Allah in the land properly, then when you tell them something, they're not going to want to listen to you. You're smoking, you're doing different things that's haram. No. No. Uh, I want to ask you more question. Uh, as you know, there is a misunderstanding of Islam, or you can say there is a lack of understanding in, uh, of Islam in the United States yeah. because of uh, <coughs> false allegations in the media as you know right. how can you defeat these obstacles by returning to fundamental sources such as Quran or prophetic traditions and so on uh, until accepting uh, accepting Islam actually um, in, in my opinion and Allah knows best <clears throat> the best way is just to basically uh, hold firm to the Quran and Sunnah 
and you know the practice of the Prophet you know, uh, and his companions, mm. just uh, to hold firm to it. And if we're not, we should get get to doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like in other words, there may be people that are um, not doing it. They need to begin to do it. And the ones that are doing it should need to continue to do it. We just hold firm to the Deen of Islam and continue to, you know, practice the Deen of Islam, living the, gain the knowledge and apply the knowledge, gain the knowledge and live the knowledge. And when you just, actions speak, speak louder than words. In other mm. words, when people see that you're practicing Islam, this is where the da'wah that they're getting by you practicing the Islam. It doesn't matter what they say or what they do, mm. as long as they, they see the truth. You continue to do what is correct and what is right, and that's what you're showing them. You know, there's nothing they can say, nothing they can do. It doesn't matter what they do or say. Hmm. Because you're, you're, you're living according to the Qur'an and the Sunnah practice of the Prophet Sallallahu according to the understanding of the companions and the, and the righteous predecessors. You know, hmm. so that's what we had to do. Just hold firm to that and that's it. It's, it's nothing Shalom. else. You know, definitely I'll do it. You know, uh, What's your impressions about uh, Islamic prayers? Islamic prayers? Hmm. Um, my impression is that how Allah tells you everything in creation has a, 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 its way of worship hmm. to Allah and this is our way of worship hmm. so it, when you offer your salat then you should think in terms of that okay everything else is doing you know hmm. offering hmm. salat too or every, everything else is offering ibadah as well hmm. whether it's the sun, moon, stars, the insects, the animals hmm. everyone is, 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 is worshiping Allah hmm. because hmm. you know we, what we owe this to Allah you know, He has given us life. We should thank Allah. He has given us life. We should seek help of Allah. You know, we should. We owe this to Allah. Hmm. You know, we have to worship Allah. You know, for guidance, worship Allah for for everything we need. You know, but you know. It is up to you. Okay. Alright. Uh, billahi min shaitan rajim. آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تواخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما هملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا تقتلنا به وعفو عنا واغفر لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين. Uh, in one minute, in one minute. Yes. In what way? Yes. From your opinion, in yes. what way you can serve Islam in the United States in the future? No. Well, uh, we, I would say, for me personally, um, since I'm not the most knowledgeable, mm. I need to gain more knowledge, and I need to practice that knowledge and call to that. Mm. You know. So, uh, you know, I need to myself learn more about my Lord mm. and my Deen, Islam, and about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I need to learn this. I need to um, call to that. And, you know, uh, you know, I need to practice that. I need to call to that. I need to, once, once I've gained that knowledge, once I'm practicing that knowledge, I need to call the people to that. And I think that'll be the best way. You know, so, uh, mm. you know, it's, it, in my opinion, I have to start with myself. And that's how I can benefit myself, my family, and then mm. the community. Mm. Uh, we are so glad to see you and thank you for joining us. Alaykum wa rahmatullah. Taib, in Qata'a l-Ittisal, Sid Mahmoud, like any 